Hello church family, my name is John Michael. I recently just started working part-time at Grace Chapel as a biblical counselor, and it is my heart to care for and serve you as your brother in the Lord. As we read through the dawn of redeeming grace, we also look at our world around us, and it can be tough sometimes to see God's plan due to the pain, suffering, and turmoil we observe every day. But do not be discouraged. God is in control. Matthew, writing his gospel to a Hebrew audience, repeatedly proves this to us as prophecy after prophecy are fulfilled about Jesus, so we can trust him. In chapter 21 of the book, we're reminded of how the evil ruler of this world, with devastating pain, tried his best to destroy young Jesus. When the wise men came to Herod, the king of Judea, seeking he who has been born king of the Jews, crafty Satan thought he had God cornered. But the wise men did not inform Herod, and instead, being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Right after they depart, Joseph is directed in a vision to flee to Egypt with the child Jesus and his mother. In Matthew 2, 16, it is written, Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. This horrible story is only found in Matthew because it fulfilled the prophecy in Jeremiah 31, which is, Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. It was the devil's intent to orchestrate Herod's murder of children. But in the next verse, Jeremiah writes, Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is reward for your work, declares the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope, declares the Lord, and your children shall come back to their own country. Perhaps, as you look at the world around you today, it feels as though Satan must be winning. As Christians around the world suffer attack and harassment, as non-Christians hear the gospel and yet remain blind to the message, as Satan accuses and tempts you from a battleground of your own heart, yet however fierce the heat, hold on to your Savior's promise from Matthew 16, 18. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It does not matter what Satan tries. Christ our King will prevail and his church, his purpose, his people will remain until he comes for us. Be encouraged. Despite what is going on in this world, our God is ultimately in control. Our King is all knowing, all powerful. We can and must trust him. I was recently reading through the book of the prophet Daniel and as Daniel worships, he reminds us about God's dominion. He says in chapter two, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, to whom belong wisdom and might. He changes times and season. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Again, Daniel records King Nebuchadnezzar declaring of God in chapter 4, How great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion endures from generation to generation. All inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing and he does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can say, stay his hand, or say to him, what have you done? Lastly, in chapter 6, Daniel records King Darius' declaration of God. He is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion shall be to the end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He who saved Daniel from the power of the lions, our king, who orchestrated the rescue and deliverance of baby Jesus from the hand of Herod, will rescue and deliver us to our heavenly home. Remember, he changes times and season. He removes and sets up kings. He does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. And finally, there is hope for your future, declares the Lord, and your children shall come back to their own country. May you be blessed and comforted this Christmas as you understand the revelation of God's dominion and his purpose to redeem his church by the grace given through our Savior, the born King, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas.